Welcome back, everyone. Well, February is American Heart Month, and here to talk with us today is Nancy and Bob Askey. They are part of Mended Hearts, and it is a support group. And I'm going to let you guys tell everybody about what you do. Okay, well, um, we have 68 members, but of those, uh, 10 are, are visitors. And what we do is uh, we are assigned to patients at Phoebe mm -hmm. that have heart conditions, either uh, bypass surgery or some uh, a heart attack. Um, I even if they have a cardiac cath, we see. So uh, what we do is give them our um, uh, what we've been through. Okay. We can't give out any medical information sure. or anything, but uh, we l support them and hope that this will help them through their critical time. Com comfort them with, with our experience that sure. we've been through it. And you guys have both been through a heart situation, so you're able to, to comfort them and, and say, here's how I dealt with yes, it. Yes, yes. Um, Bob had um, five bypasses wow. in mm -hmm. 2002, and I have a chronic atrial fibrillation, okay. so um, I can relate to those sure. who have the same problems. Now, how do you guys feel personally about being able to comfort people in a time that is very difficult? Uh, I find it rewarding. Uh, it's a volunteer job that uh, has more reward than, than would give. Uh, it's very satisfying. And now how many people do you actually see in a, in a day? 18 to 20. That's amazing. Average. How long does it take you to do that? A couple hours or more. Mm -hmm. And so when you go in and you, you talk with people, what do you say? I know it can't be easy because, you know, they're, they're hurting and they're upset and their families are as well. How do you handle that? Well, you first kind of go in and, and introduce yourself and let them know what uh, organization you're with. And then start out by asking, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? How, uh, what brought you here? and get them talking about their own personal. And then they usually have many questions. Mm -hmm. Things like, um, when did you return back to work? Um, uh, when am I going to feel like I, I, I can do things? Uh, you know, um, many little questions sure. that, that is concerning to them. Okay. And, and their family too, because remember, especially if it's a spouse, she's going through all the emotional, everything that he has gone through except for the surgery. Well, when we come back, we're going to be learning more about what it's like to be part of this group. So if you guys are interested, <coughs> we're going to tell you about that. You can go to mendedhearts.org for more information. Uh, actually, I got one more question for you guys. Um, can you tell me uh, what, what people would like to do if, they would, uh, if they'd like to be part of the group? Well, they can just come to our meetings. We, we have more educational. Okay. Uh, in fact, we have... Uh, Dr. Harry Jones, a cardiologist, coming Monday night uh, to speak to us about heart disease, uh, nutrition. Uh, uh, we try to in include some more education, uh, but it's really a support group uh, for those who are new or those who have gone through it can help the younger ones. And this is your 29th year? Yes. yes. So how long have you two been a part of the group? Um, <clears throat> I'm a retired nurse from Phoebe, so I've been with them almost 25 years. Okay. I'm just 11. 11, but still, my <laughs> goodness, that's a long time. Yeah. And why did you initially decide to join the group? Um, I think I got talked into uh -oh. it. <laughs> they needed a liaison between the hospital and Menden Hearts, okay. and uh, once I got into it, I was hooked. Yeah. Uh, these folks are like our family, you know. Uh, we know them for years and uh, go through, uh, some of them have gone back for a second bypass surgery. Uh, some of them have had other problems that you work on. Well, we're going <laughs> to learn more about Mended Hearts when we return again. You can go to mendedhearts.org. Chris, over to you. I'm back with Bob and Nancy Askey. They are from the Mended Hearts Support Group. They're in their 29th year this year. And I also have to say, these two have been married for 50 years. So that's a huge accomplishment. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that we're able to talk with you this morning. Thank but you. you guys go around and you talk <coughs> with heart patients at Phoebe. And you tell me that you are 100% doctor approved. Right. Um, it was started by Dr. Hoops uh, at the original um, beginning. And of course, the open heart uh, doctors certainly support us and, and thank us for 
uh, talking to their patients because sometimes it's uh, a matter of a patient being so scared that they don't want to go through the surgery and just seeing someone like my husband who's been through it and doing well will give them confidence to go ahead and have the surgery. Sure. And you also have these educational packets <coughs> that each patient would get for free. Yeah, these, these are new. We started in, in January. Uh, the American Col uh, College of Cardiology uh, supplies uh, the information packets along with some of the drug companies. So we get them free and are able to give them out to, uh, to help educate our patients That's more. That's really wonderful. So if somebody's watching and they would like for you guys to come and visit them, how would they make that possible? Um, well, we, our newsletter, we have our phone number. Um, also, uh, in our packet, we put in a little card that gives them uh, okay. a number to, uh, to reach us. So. Yeah, the local number is 435-6453. Uh, okay. That's our local number. Fantastic. And then again, about these educational packets, why do you think these are beneficial? Um, well, like my husband, he, he went through this pain, uh, went in and had a cardiac cath and, and thought maybe a stent, and it ended up being five bypasses. So when it happens, you know, the patient doesn't have time to think about it, what he needs to do afterwards. He's just concerned about really living and getting through the surgery. So these help educate them as far as what to expect after surgery um, and things that they need to change like their diet, stop smoking, uh, exercise, this type of thing that we promote. Well, we appreciate you guys coming in and talking with us. And you can find out more information at mendedheartswithans.org. And, uh, of course, you can contact Phoebe. I'm sure they'd be able to get you guys uh, hooked up with right. them as well. Again, it's Mended Hearts, Nancy and Bob Askey. Thank you so much for being on this morning. Thank you for Thank having you. us. We're going to be back with more Good Day. Stick around.